Praise the Lord. I'm Pastor Kevin Williams Jr. I pastor here at Greater Bible Way Temple of Albion. We are located at 402 Austin Avenue in Albion, Michigan, 49224. We would love for you to come out and see our service or even visit uh, our YouTube channel, different social medias where our sermons, our Bible studies, and many services are listed for your enjoyment to help you get through the, your daily trials and tribulations. And also make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to visit our website, gbwtalmian.org. We love you and God bless you. And hopefully we see you soon. Please on this morning. Come on, open up your mouth and give God some glory. I am so thankful, so honored to be in the house of God one more time. David said, I was glad. When they said unto me, let us go into the house of God. Help me sing the song. Down through the years, God's been good to me. Singing down through the years, God's been good to me. Oh, down through the years, God's been good to me. I know that God's really been good to me. Oh, down through the years, God's been good to me. I'm singing down through the years, God's been good to me. Oh, down through the years, God's been good to me. I know that God's really been good to me. Oh, all of my life, God's been good to me. Come on, draw your minds in. All of my life, God's been good to me. Oh, all of my life, God's been good to me. I know that God's really been
uh, to the most important part of the service, which is the word of God. At this Amen. time, let everyone stand as we present our pastor, District Elder Kevin Williams, is receiving with a hearty amen. 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 God bless you. In Jesus' name. If you have your Bibles, if you have your Bibles, please turn with me to 2 Chronicles, chapter number 34. Verse number 31. <clears throat> Certainly we happy to be here on today. Be in the house of God. Thank God for Sister Keisha, our Amen. president Amen. and director of birthday. Happy that God bless her with another year. Amen. Amen. Second Chronicles, Second Chronicles chapter 34 okay. and verse number 31. Thank you. Certainly you contribute to this ministry as we have a lot of plans coming up that you can be a part of on the calendar of 2023. Mm -hmm. And you're most certainly welcome to join us for our consecration fast, which will start this Friday with Elder Bryce Brunson at 7.30 p.m. Here at Greater Bible Way Temple of Avenue Shepherd's Place. <clears throat> in the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 34, verse 31, the Bible reads that the king stood in his place and made a covenant before the Lord to walk after the Lord and to keep his commandments and his testimonies and his statutes with all his heart and with all his soul to perform the works, the words of the covenant which are written in this book. Heavenly Father, we come to you today, we give your name, thanks, and praise. We thank you, God, for letting us be in the number one more time. We pray, Lord, that you continue to be with us, God, us, and strengthen us as we're living in this crazy, chaotic world. We're praying, Lord, that the word goes forth, it helps, encourage, and uplift somebody on today. Let my flesh be submissive and use me as a ready vessel to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. We pray and ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. You can be seated in the house on today. Today's sermon is entitled, My Testimony. Amen. My Testimony. Looking at this particular book or books, we see that um, many Bible scholars believe the accredited writer to First and Second Chronicles is most likely to be Ezra. And we look at these books, First and Second Chronicles, is very similar to First and Second Kings. First and Second Kings <clears throat> talks about the kings from a man's point of view, but First and Second Chronicles talks about the kings from God's point of view. We see here in this particular passage of scripture that we're going to focus on today, it was the king that stood in a place that he wanted to make a covenant between him and God. How many of y'all been in a situation where you was going through something, you said, God, if you could just get me out of this situation, I promise that I'll be better. I promise that I'll come to church. I promise that I'll pray more. I promise I'll fast more. I promise I'll read the Bible more. Amen. Well, this king was in a particular situation where he had no one to turn. He had no one to turn 
It's up to God. I'm in the right house on today. Amen. This is why our theme for Greater Bible Way Temple is better. I want to be better in 2023. We've had a rough couple years Amen. that we've been through. Many lives have been lost. Many lives have been changed. In fact, I went to the grocery store this morning to get some eggs for my house, and they was five dollars. Five dollars for a 12 count of eggs. And I know what you're saying, Pastor, you went to Kroger, you went to Myers. No, I went to Walmart. One of the cheapest grocery stores across the land. And what I'm saying is that the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Am I the right church on today? But one thing that this king understood is that when you align with the will of God and God has covered you, you can get through any situation. You can get through any circumstance. The problem is how much are we willing to do to align with the will of God. Right. On this morning or afternoon, as we're still fidgeting with our time here at Greater Bible Way Temple, the Bible Elder Brian Brunson taught Sunday school dealing with faith. Right. And I'm seeing that a lot of situations that we want to happen in the body of Christ simply doesn't happen because our faith is not in a place where it can happen. God rewards you according to your faith. If you have weak faith, you get weak blessings. If you have medium faith, you get okay blessings. But if you have big faith, somebody shall, shall big faith. You get big blessings. Amen. That's the God that we serve. We should not put stipulations or cutoff points on God. God is able to put you in places that you never thought in your wildest dreams. Praise the Lord. Pastor, what do you say? You're in an occupation that calls for a master's degree and you barely got your associates. Why y'all so quiet? <laughs> Put you in a house, praise the Lord, where you can think that you, your credit score will allow you to be qualified for this type of mortgage loan. But somebody shout, but God. But God. This is the covenant that this particular king wanted to be in. But if you specifically look here, to walk after the Lord and to keep his word, keep his commandments. Now I know everybody see Pastor Williams now and try to judge accordingly to what you see now. But there is a testimony that goes towards the man that you see. I know that me and my wife look like this awesome couple that we never had no problems. We always been blessed. Praise the Lord. And God is blessing us. But you don't know my story Amen. of where I came from. Amen. I came from tough times. And I know that Minister Lamb just cut me up in my office, so I'm looking 23, 24. But I've been on this earth at least 40 years. And it always ain't been pretty. But God uses your testimony so you can be an evangel, evangelic tool to win souls. When you talk to people in the community, in the neighborhoods of urban America, and you try to witness to them, if you ain't been through nothing, 
you ain't going to get to them. Amen. We've been in a position way too long when brothers and sisters that came on this pulpit and been front. And because they've been front, ain't nobody getting saved. Ain't no lives being changed. It's time to tell the truth. And the truth is, you need God. And after you find God, follow what God is saying. Pastor, how do I know what God is saying? It's in the word of God. Follow the word of God. It's very simple. Praise the Lord. And not only in this covenant that this king was making with God, it says to keep his commandments and his testimonies. Keep your testimony. Tell everybody how you used to be poor or welfare. Tell everybody how you used to be strung out on drugs. Why are y'all so quiet on here? Tell everybody you could not get through the day without a fifth of Hennessy. I'm talking to somebody on today. But God delivered you. And for that, I'm thankful. God delivered us from that fiery furnace. God has delivered us from the lion's den. God has delivered us from that, from that belly of that whale. No, we ain't always been perfect. We ain't always done everything right. But now that we're starting to get on the straight and narrow, it's time to give God praise and let the world know there is somebody that believes in Jesus Christ. There is somebody that follows God's word. There is somebody that's willing to pray to God that's willing to read their Bible and still come to church. Even after this pandemic, thank God that God has kept me and my family in this pandemic. I may not be where I want to be, but thank God I'm in a place where I'm in my right mind. I got mobility in my limbs. I can get up and come and go as God has blessed me. And I give God praise. I may not have a whole lot of money, but for the roof that I got over my head, why y'all so proud? I give God praise. I know inflation is going up, but for the food I do get, I give God praise. Even in some random news, I'm going to pray over it and give God thanks. Because some people ain't got that. I got to give my testimony. Before we get up out of here, I got to give God praise for keeping me in my right mind, keeping me clothed. I may not have fear God knows, but for the shoes I do got, I give God praise. I may not be a billionaire, but for the money I do got, I give God praise. This is my testimony. I used to be broke. I used to smoke weed. I used to sit Hennessy. I ain't doing that no more. To what God has done. I give God praise. Living in the projects. On food stamps. Oh, you can't get me. The Bible.
where God has brought me from. It ain't about me. It's about God. How did this king know? It says, from the words of the covenant which are written in this book. How did the Old Testament prophet Israel, he knew that this book would be confirmed thousands and thousands of years ago? How did he know his covenant? that he made what God would stand on. Listen, church, we have been through some of the toughest times in mankind. And guess what? If y'all are here physically, and y'all can see me virtually, Pastor Williams, how you know I'm still here? Because you can see me. <laughs> you made it. So now it's time for us to be better in 2023. Don't lose a hold of your testimony. And all of us got something we can approve in. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. But it starts with God. It starts with God. God will send you help if you're willing to receive it. If you're willing to receive it. If you're willing to receive the word of prophet, prophetess, man, woman of God. If you're willing to follow his will. God will help you. Amen. 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 I'm a living Witness. I'm a living testimony. That's right. I done had ups and downs. <laughs> Stuff I can't even tell you. Y'all start crying. <laughs> Pans, Pans, I, I, I didn't know you, 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 went, you went through all of that. Yeah, I did. I did. And I'm still here. Amen. And it's nothing but the grace of God. Amen. Amen. And just like God did it for me, mm -hmm. he can do it for you too. Yes, Lord. Yes, I'm not some amazing, you know, smart genius. I'm just someone that was willing to have faith minimal the size of a grain of a mustard seed. And when I built my faith up in God, the mountains begin to go out the way. And the blessings begin to pour out. So I don't have room to receive. Amen. Amen. So hopefully this have blessed you. And your testimony will be able to bless people as well. But we need God to help us all. Amen. Amen. Come on, put your hands together and give God a hand.